What is going on? Welcome back. The past few episodes, we've been working on Cody Day's bike. If you don't know Cody, he actually works at Counts Customs. He's the detail guy there. If you don't know who Counts Customs is, do a quick little search. That's also the place they do counting cars on, I think it's Discovery. But the reason why I bring that up is because we take a quick little visit over there. Adam goes ahead and cuts up some of the carbon on his bike that I did not want to be responsible for. And then I go over to HRP Customs, which is a place I would definitely suggest you guys to go if you're in the Las Vegas area. Bar over there is one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet in the motorcycle world. And he works on all sorts of bikes from scooters to groms to custom bikes. They have a dyno over there. So definitely go check them out. I head over there to put a big giant hole in Cody's fairings and show you guys around. And then we finally get to give Cody the bike, but it's not completely finished. I unfortunately do not have a hole saw. I used to, but they've disappeared. So I'm gonna run to HRP Motors. He has one that he said I could use. So I'm gonna go ahead and blast a hole through this and then um, I'll file it as needed. I have a file with a rounded edge that I can file and make it smoother. And then I'll do something around the edge to make it not look so bad. I guess let's go blast a hole through this. All right. Lock the garage. Now, we take the van, take the IS. And let's take the IS. All right, off to HRP. So you guys have never really seen where I live ever because I've kept it quiet, but since I'm moving, I guess I wouldn't say I've kept it quiet. I just kind of don't really show it on this channel. I have in this apartment complex. The Gallery Apartment Homes in Las Vegas, Nevada. So when I was gonna stay here, they're putting in a storage unit right here. And I was gonna get a, get a storage unit to put some stuff in and then that way I'd have more room in my garage. Like those cabinets that are in the background of my storage unit and extra boxes and stuff. A lot of people will say Vegas is ugly. I'll disagree. I was just driving, I was like, wait a minute, that looks like, that is, that's Sea Bear. So, stopped really quick, said what's up to them. What's up?
right. Big shout out to Bar over at HRP for letting me use the hole saw and his Dremel really quick. It took me like less than five minutes to do that and I got it all taken care of. Now, let's go back and finish putting this thing together. Here it is. So we got the little area here trimmed out. It looks great. Did that over at HRP and I had to stop because it goes technically into the fairing and I didn't want to cut on the fairing. So uh, it's still got some structure to it, which is good. Only two things that he needs to do is cut his fairings and put a chain on. Oh yeah, and get a battery. So this hits here and it will hit here once that is trimmed. So I don't want to be the one to mess with the carbon. I don't want to be the one that has to pay for it. So I did a couple extra little things here and there, but we got it all cleaned up. Oh yeah, he's going to get an exhaust mount made. So yeah, this doesn't isn't mounted at all right now, but he works at a place that does fabrication and stuff. He works at Counts Customs. He's the detail guy there. So he's gonna get this all cleaned up and looking all nice. And next time you guys see it, it will have a uh, full detail. It'll all be together. Just needs a chain, a couple little trimmings, and an exhaust mount. But this is all clean. I've had this charging for a long time, but the second I go to start it, battery's just toast. So, not a big deal. Sounds like Cody's actually here right now. So everything is good to go. <laughs> part of the build I will catch up with you guys in a little bit which will be probably a couple weeks uh, when you see the final product so what's up dude <laughs> ready to go ride it you happy yeah it's been a while but I'm yeah twice <laughs> Crazy. Like, like one up and then one in. It's a perfect bike for me. <laughs> it doesn't feel like a huge difference, you know? Yeah, no. All the now, if it was on your bike, I would feel a difference. Yeah, because your bike's yeah. lower than mine. Yeah, it feels nice. 